The breaking news just in is that Meghan Markle and Harry will have to give up their titles, HRH, so they will no longer be Her Royal Highness or His Royal Highness, uh, that they do plan to stay and spend all of their time in North America and that they'll be barely back to the UK. Uh, they also have to repay uh, the taxpayers' cash. Uh, that we forked out for them to have Frogmore, Frogmore Cottage renovated. Um, so the Queen has made it such that they have to pay that back. So that's good news. And you can really feel the hand of the Queen coming in there saying that this is not acceptable. I guess uh, the outstanding question from a taxpayer's perspective is, what about the money we forked out for your wedding? Do we get any of that back, I wonder? And how come you wanted to be married into the royal family in the first place if all it was was a launch pad for your pet projects and your career? I think the rest of uh, the UK, a uh, decent Brits probably feel pretty used. It's not hard to imagine how spending some time here might give you the space to really reflect on life. Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada is described as a rugged paradise in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. It's here that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent their six-week break from royal duties. At New Year, they shared this photo of Harry with baby Archie taken on the water's edge in the south of the island. Perhaps being here in these idyllic, peaceful surroundings, far away from the intrusion and scrutiny that they've struggled with, help them make up their minds that they just don't want to return to their old lives. We decided to go for a New Year's Day hike and we wanted to take a few selfies with a nice backdrop. When Asmina had a surprise encounter with them on a hike, she saw them getting a taste of life as a normal couple. When I looked up and I saw it was Megan, it was, you know, shock and couldn't really believe it at first. And then I looked back at the group and I saw Prince Harry and then it was just, it really hit <laughs> that it was them. And then she offered to take our photo and took a few pictures for us. They just seemed really happy and casual, comfortable, you know, just like a newly married couple wanting to go out for a New Year's Day hike and... They could be like ordinary people here. Yeah, definitely. The attraction here is this, the ocean. Um, you can do so many things, whale watching, canoeing. Can are this and more importantly kind of upset that uh, the Queen and Prince Philip in his uh, aged years have been treated in this manner but anyway um, they've clearly been given a bit of a bollocking by the Queen they'll be paying back some of that cash and then good riddance they said they won't move to LA until Trump's not in power so some breaking news for Meghan Markle there as well sister is that Trump's going to be back in in 2020 so you're going to be in Canada for a long time good luck finding someone with a personality there uh, there's one thing for certain the only thing royal about Meghan Markle is that she's a royal pain in the ass. the lure of life on these shores. He came from the Midlands and has been here 21 years. It's paradise. Um, it's warm, it's friendly, the hospitality is second to none. Um, it's just such a beautiful way of living, so different to what uh, Harry and Meghan are used to. The couple have described the warmth they experienced here. Perhaps it made them realise what they were missing. Rebecca Barry, ITV News, Vancouver Island.